hello all and welcome to my youtube channel so today in this particular video we're going to be talking about how we're going to be generating a text using gpt2 model so we can use this uh, text generation to write or to prepare our own articles blogs or any kind of information we can generate by using just a single single line of text so we are going to do all the kind of these things over here by using gpt2 so for uh, moving into the GPT-2 models, uh, we are going to use a Hugging Face library and it has got all of its dependencies stored in their library called Transformers. So we are going to just use their uh, uh, Transformers library from here and then we're going to be uh, using GPT model from that side. And then after that, we're going to be generating text by using GPT-2. So this would be our whole idea about this video. So let's just do it and let's see how we can just generate a text by using a single line of text and we can generate a blog also by using a single line of text. So let's see how does it works and uh, let us kick start this video. So for uh, 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 using transformers library, we will just pip install transformer library and let's run it. So I have already installed Transformer library on my local moment. So this is what uh, it is saying, requirement already satisfied. So now let's move and use Transformer libraries and all its dependencies to import GPT-2 model from Transformers. So for this, we're gonna be uh, using GPT-2 LM head model and GPT-2 tokenizer. So this GPT-2 LM head model means GPT-2 language model, head model, so that's all uh, class we need from uh, transformers to import the model from uh, transformers gpt2 model from transformers and we're going to be importing a gpt2 tokenizers so to tokenize the words which we're going to be using it over here so let's just import it from transformers so let's import the model gpt2 model and its tokenizer from transformers library so we got this imported and now we're going to be using this uh, gpt2 tokenizer and from here, we're going to be loading a GPT-2 model by using this method from pre-trained. And we're going to be loading into the tokenizer variable. And then we're going to be taking a GPT-2 model. And again, we're going to be loading all of its weights and parameters by using this GPT-2 uh, arguments over here. And we're going to be taking all those parameters from the GPT-2 model trained model. And we're going to be storing into this uh, model variable. So let's just run it. So you can see it's loading and starting all uh, dependencies of GPT-2 models and its weights and everything, whatever is it has been trained on. So it's actually a huge model. Uh, so it would take us some time to download it. And as you can see, it's 548 MB. So it would take time uh, according to the internet, whatever you have. So you should wait for like a few minutes. And then as soon as this get uh, downloaded, then we'll move on to the initiation of the uh, of the model. So before uh, initiating our model, so let's just pre-process the data. So what does this pre-processing over here means? So suppose we have this text and by using this uh, text only or this sentence only, we want to generate uh, a huge number of text that we say say it as paragraph or number of paragraphs so by using just a single line of uh, sentence we're going to be generating a huge number of paragraphs so how this can be done so what does this model do it gpt model does it is it takes this uh the sentence and it tries to encode into a different uh, numbers which it has been already trained so let us explain it and like how this encoding is done. So suppose this word, this, this sentence consists of different words. What is natural language processing? So encoding means it will just generate a number, a numerical number representing this word. And similarly for this is, it will generate some uh, number representing this is. And similarly for the natural word, it will generate some natural, uh, some, uh, number for this natural word 
so this is what it will do when we tokenize the sentence so it will generate numbers for each and every words in the sentence and that's what we call it as tokenizer so for initiating a tokenizer and tokenizing this whole sentence we're going to be using the tokenizer which we just imported above and we're going to be using its uh, encoded method to encode the whole sentence into the numbers and return the uh, tensors in form of pytorch so we are giving the pytorch over here we you can also give tensorflow uh, you should giving the tf instead of pt and you can encode this whole sentence into the numbers and you can store it over here in the anchored import so let's run it and see how the how does this work and let's just see the output of this what is this encoded input and let's just see how does it looks like so you can see it's uh, it has just uh, taken all these letters and anchor into the number because uh, we cannot pass the words into the model obviously we have to pass some anchored text so we are we have converted whole of this text into the numbers and then we'll pass it to the model to generate the new sentence from this text uh, encoded and then we're going to be getting uh, the again an encoded uh, format of the text generation and then we're going to be decoding it so this is what it will look and that's how the procedure procedure will look like so now let's explore this like what is this uh, 2061 means so first we need to extract this from this array so i am using this uh, slice indexing to just uh, get the uh, first word from it and then i'm gonna be using tokenizer again the tokenizer and then again decoding it so decoding yeah so we're gonna be decoding it so let's run it okay i think i did some mistake uh, i think token nine sir yeah no it's fine so we're gonna be doing this we are we're going to be decoding this first word so we as you can see that 2061 that number is represented by what letter so that that particular uh, number represents what and similarly you can check for other numbers so let's just print the first index of that like what that word means uh, so it's so so that word is is and you similarly you can go for the second index you can check that that is a uh, natural so if you see that encode encoded input encoded input you can guess that word again so if you see this so this third uh, third word one two zero six eight represents natural so this is what uh, uh the model do it tokenize all these words into a number and this is what we call tokenizing and now after this we're gonna be uh, loading our model and we're gonna be in, in inputting this uh, input that is encoded input into this model and we'll pass into the generator method which which will take this encoded input and we, we will giving the arguments inside it so we're gonna be giving a 500 max length so by using this sentence it's gonna be generating 500 words by using this sentence and we're gonna be using bean algorithm to print the next word by using uh, p method similarly uh, we are taking n gram size equal to that means we are taking two two words and we're going to be printing by using those two words so that it could print the next word in a better way so that what that is what it means over here this whole uh, argument and early stopping uh, we are saying that we shouldn't train for uh, uh, more epochs as soon as it's find it the best uh, accuracy so this is what the whole model will do so it takes uh, encoded input that is this input the numbers and uh, the max length the number of beams and n gram size and then a list of it so that's it uh, we are done with the model generation and let's run it let's see the output what it does give so now you can see it's running it will take time for the text generation because we have given max length of 500 so let's see what it does.
so as you can see uh, model has now uh, finished running and now we can see the output and see what does this output look like so we'll just run it so you can see that it has generated so many uh, numbers and uh, it we can see that it is encoded so we have to first decode it to understand what does this whole uh, number of series means so as the model has generated and now we're gonna be decoding it to understand the meaning of this whole uh, numbers and what does this whole number and sentence represents so for this we're gonna be uh, doing uh, decoding part or for all this sentence for all these numbers so let us see how does it works so as you have seen above like how we decoded this to get an understanding of of what this number represents similar way we're gonna be decoding this whole uh, output results produced by the model so we're gonna be using this tokenizer dot decode again and we'll pass the output with zero index so we so that we can grab all these numbers from here and then we're going to be passing it uh, with this parameters which is called special token skill true that means we're going to be taking we, we're going to be considering the species slash and everything over here and it's going to be decoding that also so this is what it means the true it means is that only so let us decode it and run this this thing and see what does this uh, say so as you can see, uh, the model has outputted this whole sentence and even you can explore it more. So it has generated this whole paragraph by using just a single uh, line of sentence that is what is natural language processing. So this is the power of GPT-2 and we can just give a model a sentence and it will generate an output which, which can be a sentence, which can be a paragraph which can be in a whole of blog, which can be a whole of an article. So you can use this GPT model and let us see what does, what does this has model is produced. So let's read this. What is natural language processing? Natural language processing is the process by which we learn new words, phrases, sentence and sentences. It is process in which our brain interprets these words and phrases in a way that allows us to understand them. NLP is also known as language processing and it is one of the most important aspect of learning a new language. I guess it has done a pretty good job by just seeing this uh, sentence, a single sentence. And as we have given this max sentence to 500, so it has generated a 500 uh, length of sentence. And if you want to improve more on this, so we have to pass more on arguments on uh, more max length like 1000 or 2000 so that you can generate uh, maximum length of uh, paragraphs according to your need and you can get a better result by using this so I guess you don't have to write articles you just have to pass into this sentence by using any topic and it will just produce uh, a sentence or a paragraph and blog and then you can use it to write a blog so it's quite uh, funny right so it's quite amazing as well you can use GPT model to get anything what you want so I guess this is the video which I wanted to demonstrate and I guess you liked it. Thank you.